Drama shows would come in because they were so heavy. They'd start set up as soon as the other one struck out. So we'd usually come in around two o'clock in the morning. My goodness. And after, before that, uh, On the I, night of the telecast or the morning No, before. no, the morning off. Yeah. We only had a day. Once in a while, we got lucky and had a two-day set up. That was really great. In the back of the building, of the RCA building, were, were some storage rooms where all the props were. If you had to have an automobile, it was back in there. Uh, we would uh, start the setup after having had an afternoon with the head carpenter on the setup. We have to mark the floor with tape. Excuse me. Load in all of our sets. And I, st I stayed. Art directors always stay because you just can't turn a plan over to a bunch of carpenters and say, here, you do it, you know, because... <laughs> you have to supervise. Yeah, but you, you, you actually are in the shop after it's been painted and you check what we call witness marks. Three slashes, two slashes, you know, to, to join the walls. Because after you get the walls up, uh, Due to the trucking problems and the elevator problems, you have seams. You know, you got seams in this wall here, but that's that's a movable wall. That's permissible. But you look at a a plaster wall that you're trying to say uh, fortification. You have to call in your painters. That has to be flushed. Have to be spackled. The texture has to go on there if you have rough texture. And this is drying time. So that has to happen first. So you have to plan your setup for what comes first, you know, for the camera. Then uh, by four o'clock or five, there'd in the be morning. A, yes, we'd be a break for breakfast for the crew. And uh, then you'd come back in. Usually, the you they were in there doing a walkthrough by ten o'clock in the morning. So you didn't really have more on a heavy production. Uh, it was out of, out of, out of mind. And uh, the day itself would be like a, almost a 24-hour day for you? And we're on the air that night, the right. next night. What would you do after the, uh, uh, the, the last scene had been played, the last words had been spoken? Would you go out and have dinner or do no, something? No, you strike it. That's when I would split. <laughs> Crew got it up, and I helped them put it up. They can take it down by themselves because most of them are vandals anyway, and they, you know, the straight claw hammer goes and misses the nail, and they they gouge it. So it's it's not a stock set. It's going back into the into the uh, warehouse. All right. Would there be like sort of a uh, group uh, party? Or uh, sometimes we did. We'd go down. Uh, and have coffee or, or drinks down. Was there a post-mortem? Would the director go over the uh, telecast with you? Uh, no, because uh, the, the transmission has to be checked. The directors usually went uh, to what we would call Telecine today and checked the footage to see how many, if it went on the air properly. He, there would be a reading report, like we get a lab report right. on a daily. Surely you couldn't have been doing this back to back. You wouldn't go back the next day and do it again. Are you kidding? Sure. You did <laughs> no, that? I mean, we, we, if you had another show, it, if, I'm, if I'm working with three directors here, we had another show and the next one was ready to leave the shop, it could have been down in the load in bays ready f for setup. But I didn't, uh, usually they gave us a day because there were other shows coming in behind us. You have us. to catch up on your sleep. Yes, you do. <laughs> 